welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. In this video, we're going to be starting a brand new series, and I wanted to do a cute picture of Santa Claus riding on a goat. I read on the internet the other day that in the Scandinavian countries in probably the 1800s, they had a tradition that Father Christmas rode on a goat, and I thought that would be really cute, so I decided to do that. And I'm going to be experimenting with some of the new marker brushes and in Infinite Painter. So if you want to follow along traditionally, you can use some alcohol markers and maybe some waterproof pens. And you might even want to use a little bit of watercolor for the background. But you can also just use your alcohol markers for that. So we're going to be using Infinite Painter. And I went ahead and was sort of just sketching out the concept for the goat. And I decided that this would make a really good YouTube lesson. So I went ahead and uh, put the goat in. And then I found some uh, royalty-free pictures of Santa Claus for some photo references. And as you can see, the original uh, drawing that... <laughs> they had of Santa Claus riding the goat isn't really very cute, but I thought that I would just go ahead and try to make it a real cute and maybe almost chibi-like um, picture. And chibi is just sort of the, uh, it's a Japanese style of drawing that um, everything is just kind of uh, miniaturized, I guess you would say, and really cute looking. So I just went ahead and started working on Santa Claus here, and I'm just kind of drawing out a rough sketch, and I'm using one of the new um, pencil variants in Infinite Painter. And I don't think that these are quite ready for the public, but there's going to be a whole bunch of new brushes coming in Infinite Painter very soon. And so this is one of them. This is the, the pencil. I think it's just a, a number two pencil. Uh, name and I'm just sort of doing a really rough sketch here of Santa Claus and if you're following along traditionally you would just go ahead and get you a, a sketching pencil and sketch this in and make sure that you can erase and you might sketch really lightly if you're doing this traditionally because you don't want to make indentations on the paper so either sketch it out really lightly or sketch it on a separate piece of paper and then trace it on your final um, paper that you want to use for your drawing. And so here I'm just kind of uh, working on the refinements of trying to get uh, what I want Santa Claus to look like. I want him to look kind of cartoony and kind of cute. And so I'm just kind of Clean, cleaning up the lines here and if you're doing this digitally go ahead and make sure that you do this Santa Claus on a separate layer and because I wanted to make him a little bit bigger I decided he wasn't uh, big enough so it's easy to do because I put him on a separate layer and so an infinite painter you can actually enlarge or shrink your drawing if it's on a separate layer. Now if you're doing this traditionally just kind of sketch around your original drawing and just enlarge it that way. Or you can go ahead and uh, do it on a separate sheet of paper. Once you get that drawing done you can copy the whole thing down again if you want to but this saves a little bit of time and of course digitally it's a lot easier because you can just enlarge it on a separate layer there. So that's what I did. I went ahead and made him a little bit bigger on the goat, and but I I want to keep you know the small proportions, the the chibi like look, the the really cute like look. So I just wanted to go ahead and um, make him look cuter, and so I'm just working a little bit more on the refinements and. This is what I do. I start out with a rough sketch and then I just kind of uh, gradually refine it. And I do this in the digital realm, of course, by 
putting another layer and drawing over the first sketch that I had. And you can do this traditionally if you have a light box. You can do that. You can trace it and just start refining it. And that's the way cartoonists do a lot of their drawings is they will make a rough sketch and then they'll put it on a light box and they'll trace over it and they'll start gradually refining it till they have the, the finalized drawing. And a lot of illustrators will also do this. And so I'm just going ahead and making refinements to his beard and his hat a little bit, making him look a little bit bigger here, working on the shape of his beard and um, the the sack. I wanted the sack open. Now you can have the sack closed if you want to, but I wanted to have the sack partially open so that I could show some of the toys in it and just to to show that he's delivering toys on the back of a goat instead of in a reindeer and a sleigh. So I'm working a little bit on the the sack here and just trying to uh, make the wrinkles on it and make it look like it's partially open but he's got it pretty well um, closed except for a little bit at the top there and that's sort of a traditional view that they show of Santa Claus sometimes is the sack is partially open so you can see the gifts and the presents, the, the toys and everything. And then I wanted to go ahead and just kind of work on um, the shape of his leg, make, make it look like he's riding the goat and he's riding the goat bareback. I decided not to put any saddles or bridles or anything because this is a tame goat and he knows what he's doing and he's not going to He's not going to run away or anything because he probably can talk to like Rudolph and all the other reindeer and the cartoons or something like that. Anyway, I didn't put any reins or anything on him. I just had Santa Claus riding on him. And then I'm working on the hat a little bit more, trying to sort of refine it and and just kind of uh, show the the trim around the edge of the hat and then the tassel that's on there and then I was trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do his hand and at first I thought I would make it sort of like the reference that I have there where you can kind of see him pointing at, at something but later on I decided to just do away with that and, and just make it like it's just mittens and not gloves or anything just make him have mitten hands and so as you can see I'm just kind of refining and and drawing in the final details here that I want and I want to get the final drawing because I'm going to go ahead and and use this sort of like a marker drawing so you want to go ahead and get your final drawing done before you add any color on this or you can even use watercolor, of course, but you want to get sort of the final details done because you can't correct your mistakes when you use marker or watercolor. And so I'm drawing in the toys in the sack. I thought I'd draw a little teddy bear. and I hadn't decided what to put on the end, but I finally put a football in there, and there's a soccer ball. And At first I put a soccer ball, and then I decided I just wanted... Um, sort of a regular bouncy ball like we used to have as kids and they had designs on them and you kicked them around and so I went ahead and and sort of changed the designs on the toys later but here I was just trying to kind of get sort of a small teddy bear just kind of a generic teddy bear here and I decided to change that into sort of a football shape and I just went ahead and, and gave it the, the oval look and and I decided to give it some non-traditional colors as you'll see later just because some of the kids footballs have all kinds of different colors and then I worked on the presents a little and I put little bows on them because I thought that would look really cute and colorful so I put some bows and some wrapping around them and then I decided to go ahead and try to smooth out the edge of the ball there. So I used the guide to go ahead and 
and make sort of a rounder edge there and you can use a bottle cap or something if you're following along traditionally or just a compass uh, just something that gives you kind of a uniform circular edge there and then I erased out the bottom and here I decided to just put polka dots on the ball so that it would be kind of a just a generic bouncy ball that you can kick around and bounce against the wall and so I just wanted to put a little bit of some uh, fun color on it and I'm working on the package a little bit and Santa's hat and and the shape of the sack a little more and and his arm because it's going to be draped over his shoulder sort of and it's going to be holding it with that hand and then I just went ahead and um, outlined his beard a little bit more and as you notice I added another layer each time that I add some new detail I'll go ahead and add another layer for the refinements and I'll shut the visibility off on the really sketchy layers here now like I said if you're doing this traditionally you can use a light box and just trace it onto the other paper and that will get rid of the sketchy layers or if you've sketched this very lightly, then you can just go ahead and um, sort of erase out on your paper. You can erase the, the sketchy look. So anyway, I've got the sketch done pretty well. And so this is the end of the Yule Goat series, which is what they call him in Scandinavia, the little goat that Santa rides. And so this is the end of part one. And if you're interested in part two, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And we'll start adding some color in part two. So thanks everybody for watching. Thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And I will catch you later.